Hello, and welcome to Panther News Network. Today is February 25th, 2020. I'm Ronald Savage, Jr. I'm Maya Davis. I'm Erin Haven. And here's what's going on in today's news. Former NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson has passed away. Johnson was one of NASA's first human computers, as well as one of the few African-American women in the organization. She calculated the flight path used in the United States' first space flight and historic moon landing. Johnson and her work were portrayed by actress Taraji P. Henson in the Oscar-nominated film Hidden Figures. She was 101. NASA recently revealed photos of an island at the tip of Antarctica that experienced a nine-day heat wave earlier this month. Eagle Island experienced a temperature of 64.9 degrees Fahrenheit, the hottest day in Antarctica thus far. The heat wave melted 20% of snow from Eagle Island. CNN reports that this heat was slowed, increasing the common symptom of the climate crisis and snow. In Los Angeles, California yesterday, the NBA honored one of the greatest players in the basketball, Kobe Bryant. Where every seat filled, people were gathered in the Staples Center to say their farewell to Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. This event was hosted by Jimmy Kimball and there were performances by Beyonce, Alicia Keys, and more. Bryant's teammates, friends, and family shared words to celebrate the life of Gigi and Kobe Bryant. Those who attended the event Prairie View a and University containing photos, a purple Kobe Bryant pin, and a t-shirt with a photo of Kobe and his daughter together. ABC 7 says Vanessa Bryant has filed a lawsuit against the company involved in the helicopter crash for the wrongful death of her daughter, Gigi, and her loving husband, Kobe Bryant. Take a look at what's happening here on the Hill. Prairie View A&M University is starting their very own parent and family program. Their first program was a happy hour event for the incoming freshman parents and family members. All the upcoming Panthers got to explore the hill, parents and family members got a chance to sit back and relax with a non-alcoholic drink. Not only did they have a non-alcoholic drink, they got a chance to listen to a little jazz music and Mrs. Gross speak on the new program. Here is parent and family program hostess Yolanda Gross explaining what this program is truly about. Uh, giving information on learning more about our culture, our traditions, um, different things that we have going on on campus, to give them information about the opportunity to be more engaged on campus and how they can help support our students to be successful. Parents and family members got to receive a survey at the end of the event. All surveys were taken into account and put into a database to see what parents would actually like to get involved. Well, that wraps up this right. event. Wow, that was a great news package. Ronald? Well, you did a good job, Erin. And today in regional news, the heir to the Hot Pockets company faces sentencing for her involvement in the college admission scandal. Michelle Genav paid $300,000 to people to help her daughters gain admittance to the University of Southern California. Prosecutors are seeking a 21-month month prison sentence for Janav, while her defense is seeking probation. Janav is one of 53 people being charged in the scandal, with others including Desperate Housewives actress Felicity Huffman and Full House actress Lori Loughlin. The scandal first broke in March of 2019. A lab in Houston is developing a vaccine for coronavirus scientists at Baylor College of Medicine. Reports that their vaccine has the ability to stop virus receptors from entering the cell. The vaccine was developed in 2003 to fight the SARS outbreak, which is 80% similar to coronavirus. The scientists are currently running tests to ensure the vaccine is safe for humans and researching ways to diagnose and prevent the virus from spreading further. In Northwest Houston, a 15-year-old boy shot his 5-year-old sister in the stomach on Monday. Officer says that the mother woke up after hearing a gunshot and found her 5-year-old daughter in her living room bleeding. The mother told police that her 15-year-old son was panicking, picked up the gun, and left the scene. ABC 13 says the young man turned himself in late Monday night to a juvenile t detention center. This 5-year-old girl is stable and in the hospital recovering. Now to preview news, the Prairie View A&M University Speech and Debate Team will be competing at 
Okay, I have a CPU, GPU base memory for a CPU chip. The event will be held in Juvenile Justice Room 154 on February 28th through March 3rd. The team recently placed second and third in two statewide competitions held at Kentucky State University. Keeping with the competition spirit, the Prairie View A&M University Quiz Bowl team is going to the championship as well. The team advanced to the championship round on February 21st after taking first place at the qualifying tournament hosted here at Prairie View on February 8th. Led by coach Herbert Thomas, the team will compete in a tournament against 47 other HBCU teams for the title of 2020 National Champion. The 31st Annual National Championship Tournament will begin on March 28th and conclude on April 1st in Torrance, California. For more information on the team as well as the tournament, visit the official website at hcasd.com. Hey Panthers, don't forget to RSVP for the Unknown 8 Gala. It is this Thursday, February 27, 2020, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. This event is in honor of the first eight students who attended the Alta Vista Agriculture and Mechanical College of Texas for College View, now known as Prairie View A&M University. We'll be back with more after this commercial break. Greetings, Prairie View Panthers. It's the greatest week of the year again here back on campus. It's Calm Week. Get ready for Calm Week. If you have an interest in film, television, radio, and or PR, you're going to want to show up to every single one of these events. It's going to be great mentors, great knowledge, great people, great energy being shared here at Prairie View A&M University. Come here. Sharpen your mind. Monday, February 24th, join us here at the Library Room 108, making your $1 million dreams a reality. Miko TV will be here to inspire us to make our career visions come to life. Monday, February 24th, get ready to kick off Calm Week here at the MSC Ballroom. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun with music provided by PG No Radio. It's gonna be from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come join us, all kinds of calm professors, calm students. Just a great networking event. Tuesday, February 25th, you're gonna wanna be here at Library Room 108. Uh, the Big Three of Radio, led by J.J. Williams of KWWJ Gospel Radio. It's going to be some great stuff there. And also, What's Your French Fry Story, led by Vanessa Wade, Principal Consultant of Connect the Dots PR. Going to be some more great stuff. Man, a lot of things going on in 108. Please be here. Wednesday, February 26th, right here in the library room, 108. The Changing Face of PR, hosted by Bridget S. Holden, CEO of She Bridges PR. So if you're interested in PR, you're gonna wanna be here. Also, 2 p.m. right here again, the Mentorship Showcase. Yes, I was in it last year, as we all know, but it's gonna be a great event. Even if you weren't selected, you're gonna wanna be here. Also, please come and support your fellow Panthers. It's gonna be great. February 27th here at Hilliard Hall, room 125. The event called 2020 Career Vision. Students, you're gonna wanna be here. Take a career aptitude test. Find out what career best suits you. Thursday, February 27th, here at Library Room 108 again. Words and Picks hosted by, yes, the famous Mickey Turner, Mickey Turner of USC. You're not going to want to miss this. If you're looking to up your photojournalism skills, be here. Mickey Turner is going to show us how to get some great images out of DSLR cameras and camera phones. Please come join us here at 1 p.m. Library Room 108. February 27th, here at the PBMU TV studio. You're not going to want to miss this. Look at all this. Executive producer for ABC 13 will be here. Kevin Lightfoot, he will teach us about all this. TV Newsroom 101 from 3.30 to 5. Come join us. The National HBCU Speech and Debate Championship Tournament will be held here at JJ Auditorium from Friday to Sunday, February 28th to March 1st. So come watch these heated debates. It's PV Com Week. Let's show up and show out. Can't wait to see you there. It's PV Com Week. It's PV Com Week. Why wouldn't you show up? Why wouldn't you show up? We love you. Tomorrow's weather will be sunny with a high of 55 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 30 degrees Fahrenheit with a 0% chance of rain and a 90% chance of humidity. Today's National Day is National Tortilla Chip Day. Do y'all like tortilla chips? I was in the mall to get mine and mine was cold. Mine was cold? Yeah, and it was stuck with the sour cream. Stuck with the sour cream. It was really disgusting. I like the ones with the spicy nacho ones, not Doritos, and 
Those ain't real tortilla chips. You know, we're talking about tortilla <laughs> chips. <laughs> Not tortilla <laughs> chips at all. <laughs> well, as for me, I like mine plain. So Hope if you want to give me tortilla chips, I will take some plain. <laughs> and with that being said, we just want to thank you for joining us today at Panther News Network. I'm Ronald Savage, Jr. I'm Maya Davis. I'm Erin Haven. And that's all we have for you today.